President Akufuadu on September 12 last year assented to the Tax Exemptions Act 2022, Act 1083, to regulate the application of tax exemptions and create an exemptions regime for imported goods. However, agricultural goods and equipment were not included in the list of items exempted from import duties. This, experts say, contradicts government's own policy of transforming the economy through agricultural production. Because we all know the importance of agriculture and we cannot afford to play gamble with a particular minister. In the worst case scenario, that these exemptions are not given, they were going to impose the cost on we the farmers. And we have absorbed so much that we don't have room to contain any further increment. The call from the industry player has become critical as imported inputs are reportedly locked up at the country's port, affecting cost of product. As an Algerian country, we shouldn't be here making press conference somehow 20 clear days to production season. We should be having in stock more than 70% of all agro input requirements of this country at this very moment. As it stands, majority of the fertilizer importers, majority of the agrochemical importers, seed importers, and you all do know that Ghana imports more than 90% of its seeds across the board. Augusta Nyamadi Klote is head of the National Seed Trade Association of Ghana. 2022 cost of production per acre was 2,040 Ghana cities. That was with tax exemption for agricultural products. Now we say we are taking it out totally. What government is telling us is that farmers, seed producers, agri-input dealers go and sleep. We will keep importing food from outside for the cities near of Ghana. President of the Ghana Rice Interprofessional Body is worried about the impacts on the upcoming crop season. It's going to get to a point that nobody would like to do farming anymore because currently we are struggling to make our margins. So if the agrochemical that we use to produce is going to double or quadruple, why should somebody go into uh, agri? The farmer groups want government and parliament to take a second look at the Exemptions Act and take steps to amend and specifically include agricultural goods and equipment. They contend that the decision to have agricultural commodities considered as general goods and left to the discretion of a sector minister is a dangerous move which does not augur well for the sector.